All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another amazing video. Thank you so much for watching. On this video, I'm gonna be talking about Zen. Guys, there's a lot going on right now in the crypto space, let alone the X1 as well as the X1 token. So hopefully you guys are keeping up with all information. If you are not keeping up with what's going on, then I would suggest go follow Jack on Twitter. While you're there, go ahead and follow me as well. It is Crypto Audit King. The links are gonna be down below in the description. Let's go ahead and look at the Zen price right now. So six zeros and a five two, we are down 5%. We are back with the daily videos. You know, if you guys enjoyed the content and everything, make sure you click that subscribe button, have notifications on. I'm gonna continue making content almost every single day so you guys can enjoy and see what I think is happening around in the Zen cryptoverse. Right now we did drop right under the support level of the 1334. As you guys can see, it's right here. We are now under the only thing that needs to happen right now is if we close on the daily, if we close on the daily under the support level right here, it seems like we will go lower. What is looking to be that the 1334 is curling downward and it does look like it's going to cross right here. It was pretty much almost guaranteed across but the gas on ethereum saved the day and that's why we saw the big big run up for that price of zen right now it's curling again exactly how it was looking over here now can the gas on eth do the same thing and save the token price and project itself back up maybe there's no telling man i really hope it happens again but as of right now we are under the 1334 which is bearish we are right now not closed, but we are trading under the support level, give or take like right at it, which is still bearish. And it's still looking like it's going to want to cross another bearish sign. So all around, it looks like the token price seems to like want to go down. But I think the Zen community in general, since, you know, it, it's just a strong community overall. I think the, the community is like holding it strong and trying to lift itself up on its feet and making sure it doesn't crash back down. You know, but only we can only do so much, man. We do need a lot of volume. We do need a lot of that utility case burning. We need that 333, man. We do need the auctions to come out. We need it desperately, in my opinion. Um, Jack should have launched that instead of the token X1, in my own personal opinion. But hey, he's the mastermind behind all this. I do think, and I agree with some of you guys as well that see it, that he's putting all of this together. And at the end of the tunnel, it's all correlated. It's all a puzzle piece that's going to be matching together all at once. And it's going to benefit Zen at the end of the day. So we'll see what happens in the future, man. This is still a really good opportunity for those of you that want to get in at a cheap price. But look at this gap right here. It's going to suck if we do end up closing below this support level right here. Because we have this big gap right here. You know, a next one that looks to be, we can even include this one right here, actually. I did not even see that. This looks like a really good support level, too. Uh, 4692 is looking to be where it could head to if this does not um, hold, or at least if it doesn't close above it. So if this does end up, like, confirming a bearish move and a drop is pretty much confirmed, then that's another level to be looking at around that 4692. I think that's what I said, right? Somewhere around there is where um, I think like the last resort of the token price for Zen. Because if this fails, we will pretty much guarantee to be going back down and test the all-time low way down here. So we will be hovering around this area. So if you want to wait until then, if it happens, that's perfectly fine. That's totally up to you guys. Just keep in mind, put it we can afford to lose because at the end of the day, it is still a risk. I'm just putting out there what I see whenever it comes to technical analysis. I know a lot of you guys love this type of content whenever it comes to like price predictions, where would be the best outcome to buy, you know, the support levels, just to see what the overall prediction of Zen could potentially come into. And that's what I just think it's looking like, okay? But right now, it seems to be like one of those where it's like, eh, you know, we just got to wait for the confirmation just to see what happens. If you trade Zen on Mexi, um, for a short position, which I t most likely will do it that, you know, that's just something you could do as well. Some people do it on Mexi, so that way they can do like that, um, hundred X or 50 X leverage and stuff like that. So 
So it's something for you guys to check out if you're curious about it. I made a video about it um, a while back ago, so just check it out if you're into that kind of stuff. But I do want to mention um, that X1 is going to be, or already is, in Conga Exchange, actually. Let me check. X1, it's not there just yet. So it will, it will eventually be there for you, those of you guys that want to buy it from an exchange. If you're curious about it, that's fine. I'll leave the Conga Exchange website down below in the description. Uh, I also use this website, this exchange, to buy a PLS. Super easy. The best way to do is just go on here and just buy your PLS. Um, that way you don't have to deal with the bridging on Ethereum, the gas fees, and just, you know, expensive gas fees. That way you can just send over your, I don't know, Litecoin, Tron, or whatever you want to send over to your uh, Conga Exchange wallet and just sell it to USDT and just buy PLS, withdraw it to your wallet and instantly start minting um, Centurions or whatever you're feeling like doing, right? So that's totally up to you. You know, I'll just, I'll leave the link down below in the description. Um, just, I'm just waiting for the X1 to come out. I'm curious to see like how it's going to do because we don't know the max supply right now circulating is going to be 500 million, um, but it is a total of 1 billion, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, one or, yeah, one or 10, I think it's 1 billion. Um, but that's, you know, something to look forward to. I think they're also going to be listed. Um, I saw his tweet not too long ago. I think they're also going to be listed on Mex. Yeah. They are going to be listed soon. Let's see, on November 20th to USDT. So they are already listed today, right? Yesterday they got listed. That's not bad, yo. I like how some exchanges are willing to list, you know, a new coin that just literally came out not too long ago. They just see the vision. They know Zen is strong. They know the Zen community overall brings a lot of attention and a lot of volume. So I like that, okay? I really do. We need to continue doing that. I know a lot of people are getting headaches after one project, after a token, after another one. And I know, I understand, I'm the same way. But look at it in a bigger perspective and out, think outside the box. All these things are going to be matched together for Zen. It really is. But everybody keeps asking me, like, how, many, how much Zen do you really need, like, to make, a, I kind of want to say, you know, that million, million dollar status. I'm going to stick with the ERC20 token Zen, okay? I'm not going to talk about the rest of the other blockchains since Zen under Ethereum is going to be the one with the most liquid. Like, literally, it's going to have the most liquidity out there for you to cash out and take profit, right? So, in my opinion, in a bull run, I do think Zen is going to go from anywhere from four zeros and a one to three zeros and a one. I do say I do see that and I've been mentioning it in multiple of my videos and some of you guys actually do agree in the comment section that you guys agree and I respect whatever price prediction you are saying as well but I do think you need I want to say at this current price right now 5 billion then that's million billion times 1 2 3 4 5 6 5 2 I want us to I want to say that the best bag of Zen to have would be around that 5 billion token mark. That's about two to $3,000. I know, I know, a lot of people's financial status is different. I know some of them struggle, but if you can get somewhere around the range of that, even 500 to $1,000, even though some, of, some people was priced through a lot, right? But you need money to make money, right? That range between five billion is what I really do think is that perfect mark for whenever Zen goes crazy for you to literally say, "Hey, I'm done. Life is great. I'm out, and enjoy the rest of the life with just insane amount of money." Okay, but that's everybody's mindset is different, you know. The earlier you were into Zen, uh, five billion tokens, you might even have that already all together. Put together from your mints which is insane which is really good i'm really glad some of you guys are doing that and and have that much you guys are believing in zen but you got to diamond hands all them coins that's the thing if you're claiming i don't know a hundred million i guess you know in in one week tokens right you got to diamond hands all the way to the end of your claimable last zen nft or batchment whatever you're doing that's the thing man you got to diamond hands that's why you got to mint Claim the coins and just send it on over to a extra wallet that you got 
and just set that wallet aside. Don't have it connected anywhere from your PC, laptop, iPad, phone, all that stuff. Log out of it, take it out, just set the private key or seed phrase aside and just write it down and put it in a safe. You know, send it on over to your bank, your, your little safe, you know, stuff like that. Set it aside and just send over your coins to that wallet so you won't do anything, okay? So that's a, like the... if. If you really do struggle with diamond hands and, and just that thought about selling, and if you keep selling and selling and selling, then that is the best strategy to be doing. Just set aside the wallet, send it out, and just keep your coin sending to that wallet where you, you won't have access to it until it's the massive boron. But that's just my own personal opinion. I'm very curious about what you guys have to think about it. Um, you know, it's, hey, that's actually a really good idea. I might actually start doing it myself. But last thing I want to say is... Um, Oops, let's see. So this is Zen Poodle. I'm not logged into the wallet right now, but this is uh, my project. I'll, I have my own Telegram chat room. If you guys are curious and, and want to join in, join down below in the description. If you want to mint one of these, that's great. They are 0.015 ETH. The funds are going to be used to mint Zenterions, which they will be in exchange. I already sent over the ETH and I got my PLS and ethereum and i got all the minting fees set already so that way i can start minting for the giveaways for weekly there's gonna be drawings token there is gonna be a token airdrop for holders in case you're interested as well for that there's a lot more things in store so i'm looking forward to this project it is mine the owner is maya i gotta say that legally <laughs> so guys check it out man all the links for the minting page and telegram and all that stuff will be down below in the description i hope you guys had a great day and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow in the next video. Take it easy. I'm out. Peace.